What's up, guys? This is D, the Grim Gamer. Welcome back for another Thursday night stream. This is part three of my playthrough of Resistance 3 on the PS3. Yeah, a lot of threes going on there. Suave Beardson dropping down in the chat already. What's going on, Suave? And uh, got a couple other messages here, too, that I'll address here momentarily. It was before I switched the thing, so it's not... Uh, on the screen here, but uh, uh, Garagon or Jer Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, is it Garagon or Jerigon? But um, good to see you, and I appreciate your follow as well. And yes, uh, about the tips on the Discord server, I'll talk about here in just a moment as well. Um, but yes, welcome back for part three of my first ever full-length playthrough of Resistance 3 on the Mighty PS3, the fifth and final chapter of this full playthrough of the entire Resistance saga. Um, gone through all four of the other games up to this point, and we're just trying to finish off the entire series, the entire story, uh, with this one. We're about halfway through, and believe uh, I left off on, uh, I think, chapter 12, I think. Pretty certain on that. But, uh, uh, swab it. Hey, Lurk Morrison. Hey, how you doing? Hey, yeah, you made it. No, there's a, uh, a sixth game. I did not. There is a sixth game? Because I was only aware of the five. Um, really? Well, then what, what, what is that one called? Now I'm, now I'm intrigued. Am I going to have to add yet another <laughs> game to the series when I thought it was going to be done? Um, but get uh, the rest of my intro here out of the way. Suave Beardson was here in the chat, and if uh, anybody that doesn't know, Suave uh, is my brother, and he also streams. He does every Wednesday and Sunday nights. He is currently doing a full playthrough of Death Stranding currently, so uh, you're going to want to check that out. Uh, if you've missed any of it up to this point, there are links in a Discord that you can go to where he's got a YouTube channel, as do I, where all of our streams get archived. And so you can check out anything uh, that we've done up until this point, along with... Uh, it, yeah, there's Suave dropping the Discord link hot for you, uh, right on cue. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, and then, yeah, you can chat with us all week, uh, and you can... Uh, stay up to date on what our stream schedule looks like and the upcoming games that we have. So now, um, let me see here. It is Addressed Resistance World. Basically, Clash of Clans, but Resistance. Now, well, what was that on? Was it, was it like a mobile thing or something? I've never even heard of that. I'm not familiar with that one at all. And if it doesn't... If, if there's no way for me to, like, really access it, then I'm, you know, obviously not going to be able to to get to play it then. But um, being that there was another one, I was completely unaware. Um, quick recap, as I like to do, so I'm not dragging this out too long before we get into this. Um, two nights ago, Tuesday night, uh, Capelli and Malakoff... Uh, we're trying to get... Hold on. Suave. Uh, this one's a social media game for the Resistance. Yeah. Let's play it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I, I had heard something about that or read something about that at one point. That there was a... And there was a bunch of other information, too. And there was um, a particular website. I don't remember if it was My Resistance. Um, but... I got shut down. Okay, so yeah, there's no way I'd been able to really play it or anything anyways. And if it's not like a story-based thing like this one, I probably wouldn't have really been interested in anyway. But, um, so yeah, we got this one, uh, the rest of this one to go. And then we'll have played through all five that are still available to be played. Um, but again, uh, Capelli and Malakoff, they saw a uh, VTOL heading overhead. We're in St or they were, in St. Louis, Missouri, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yes. So, um, there was some 
a, a small pack of, I guess, resistance fighters, if, if you want to call them that, uh, that were in the VTOL. And so um, we helped them out. We helped them find uh, a new power source for their VTOL with the deal being that they were going to give us a lift to New York to try to deal with this tower. Well, we got the power source and ended up having to fight what was called a Widowmaker. Which, that was a fun fight. If you can't tell the sarcasm there. Because <laughs> I'm playing, I'm laying that on pretty thick. Uh, that was not a fun fight. That fight absolutely sucked. But, they were going to give us a ride. And we were on the way to New York. And Capelli had some kind of um, a dream. There's something that his family, his wife Susan and his son Jack were in trouble. And I don't remember right offhand what happened. If he fell out of the plane or if he, uh, if they were attacked or what exactly happened, but he told the other guys to go check on my family. I'm going to continue going to New York. We wound up in Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania, and there were a couple of chapters in there that um, they were real pain in the ass. I was not a, uh, a huge fan uh, of that. You know, real confined spaces, dark, um, running out of ammo all the time. It just, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't fun, but there was a lot of, um, religious folks in Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania. Uh, and these people right away annoyed me. I'll leave it at that, I guess. Um, but the one guy, I think his name was Jonathan or something said that he was going after the beast that apparently lived either underground in the tunnels or under the, the church or something. He's supposed to be like the reverend or something of the church. And so um, he said that he wasn't coming back till he kills it. That that's, He is on a mission. He's wanting to get it done. So I guess, from what I understand, we're trying to help him. And so that way we can try to get the rest of the way uh uh, to New York, essentially. So that's where we left off, right as we were getting ready to to head to the Beast, uh, which I think they may or may not have nicknamed as Satan. Um, so um, that is what we're doing next. Um, so did you uh, the R two extra missions? Uh, R two extra missions. I don't believe I did. I, real, I didn't realize there were extra missions in Resistance 2. That's a bit uh, is hell and superhuman. So, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not doing superhuman. This is the first time I've ever played these. And one thing you'll learn about me is that uh, if if a game continuously kicks my ass, it's no fun to me. I will put that back on the shelf and I will never play it again. I play a game for the story not necessarily for the challenge. Uh, there's, you know, some players play games specifically for the challenge even, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's, you know, to each their own, whatever you want to do. But story, to me, is the main thing of why I play games. That's what the enjoyment I get out of it. So, um... Uh, how do you access extra missions in Resistance 2, then? I'm completely unaware of that. Either way, yeah, we are in Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania. We are going after the beast. Uh, so let's continue on. Let's go slay as a beast. And actually, I want to bring up something here real quick, just for my own personal self. Uh, da -da -da -da. Just so I can kind of keep track, sort of, of where the hell I am. Okay. So it looks like there's two more chapters in here. It's close. It knows we're coming for it. Really? That's interesting. I you, this thing is one mean son of a gun. A group of our best hunters came down here a while back. Twelve men, well armed, knew these mines better than me. One of them made it out alive. One. Damn thing took his left arm and half his left leg. He counts himself lucky. I mean, if he's still breathing, I suppose he is sort of lucky. Okay. What the hell do we got here? Oh, that's right. The cryo gun, which is, uh, okay. Um. This. And. 
and uh, I guess maybe this. Take a look at that storage room over there. See there we go. That might help us get yeah, how do you access them then? Because, uh, I mean, I had beaten the game, but I didn't see anything about any extra missions. Now, for Resistance Retribution, there is the Infected mode, and I do plan on playing through that. Oh, thanks. I wasn't looking forward to it already to begin with, but thank you. <laughs> um, alright, so... Where the hell am I? And is there any... Check the storage room for I will check the storage room in a second when I try to look for... other... like, journal entries and things. I try to pick up as many of those as I can. I have missed a couple, unfortunately. I don't know how the hell I've missed a couple because I uh, search every little nook and cranny I can find and somehow um, I still have missed some. Check the storage room for Shut the hell up, Jonathan. I am busy, sir. You can wait another 30 seconds. See, there's nothing, so here we go. Ooh. Ammo? Gotta have that. Give me all the ammo. The Shh, I, I'm I'm in said storage room, Jonathan. If you'll just, you know, calm the hell down for a second. Check the storage room back there. Okay. To throw the tank, so to drop it. I don't know if we want to be chucking it if it's explosive necessarily. Good idea. Drop one next to the doors out here. Bell, bell, Those tanks might come in handy against the creature. Come on. If that's the case, then hold on. Maybe I'll grab me another one. If, uh, that's the case. Alright, Jonathan. Let's go do this thing. Some of these tunnels ain't been reinforced yet. Stay low. Watch yourself. Well, I'm watching, but I kind of need you to cover me here, I think, too, man. Can't, uh, can't use my weapons at this point. Another locked door. You know what to do. Yeah, apparently I do. Don't I? Uh... Oh, hell. Okay. No. Piss off. Just die already, will ya? Alright. Yeah, ammo. Gotta have that. Full on that ammo. We're good there. Close quarters with the Grims. Uh, yeah, see, I'm paranoid about my health. Always have been in any game that I play. Um, can I not... Can I pick it back up afterwards? Well, I don't know where it went. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've am i always been um, paranoid about my health and everything, so I try not to mess with that. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I can smell it. We're close. You can smell it, huh? Whoa there. That was a close one. Keep moving, trying to keep quiet. Hello? <laughs> A 
leeches point legs. Inferior legs. Okay. All right, Jonathan. What's the uh, what's the plan here, guy? Hmm. I guess just to go here. Yeah. Uh, or not. Oh, that's cool. Be so easy. Come mm. on, let's keep on it. Can't let it get away. I was gonna shoot this, but I didn't see right away where it went. <laughs> yeah, incoming's right. We uh, got knocked down our ace. I think I know my video thumbnail. <laughs> it uh, made that pretty simple there for me. Marksman ammo's all full, so that's good. Yeah, right. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> it only blew the door down and knocked me on my ass. Not like I didn't see it, you know? Damn. Looks like we'll have to move these supports. You think you can lift them? Do I think I can lift them? I got a thing to blow stuff up, man. Thanks. We might just have a chance to beat this thing. Come on. Well, I guess so much. Oh, nope. There it is. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. Well, are we fighting the thing, or are we running? Faster. I guess we're running. Don't stop. Thank you, friend. We gotta get out of this cabin by the smaller tunnel. Come on. Um, well, now I can't get to my tank, and the guy is stuck behind there, so I guess I'm going out without you, I suppose. Oh, I, I missed one? Damn. I was afraid of that. And I can't get back over either, can I? Ah, damn it. Well. Okay. And I guess the guy's just gonna hang out back there. Oh, there's the guy. For now. Come on, this way. Hmm. Hey, look at you. There is something that troubles me. Tungushka Meteor event marks the reintroduction of the Chimera to Earth millions of years after they left. If the Chimera are technologically advanced as I believe they are, why would they use a primitive device like a virus-infused meteor? It speaks of desperation. Mm. Perhaps they did not originally leave our planet of their own volition. 
Perhaps they were forced to leave by something or someone else. Well, that's uh, it's an interesting theory. I just kind of figured that I had thought about that because we got told that they were here millions of years ago, just left, abandoned ship, essentially, and then just came back. But I kind of figured maybe they, you know, because it was uh, being a virus, at least that's what came down to Earth that maybe it just couldn't find suitable hosts or something, but they must have been around, walking around, building those giant structures that were underground and everything else. So yeah, they must have been uh, intelligent enough to do all that. So yeah, they had just left, but I guess the reason would be why. voice journal um saddest i you know i don't i don't really know um okay whoa Tanks. I don't see any, dude. Oh, here we go. Jonathan, this was your fight that you wanted to do, and now I gotta deal with it? That's, uh... That's not cool, man. Hey, fat man, 4,000, how you doing? What's up? Yeah, it's, uh, try not to spoil anything, uh, too much for me. Um, uh, the, uh, the whole idea of, uh, playing through this is that I, I had never played any of them before. Fall of Man, 2, 3, Burning Skies, Retribution, none of it. So I was just uh, curious how all of it went, the entire story and all that. So, um, yeah, I, I don't mind some tips and stuff. Just uh, try not to spoil too much for me. Marksman ammo full. Yeah, journal where though? I'm not I'm not seeing it. Before entering this tunnel? So...
Yeah, I... That's not, that's not what I wanted. Shut up. Come here. Stupid face. <laughs> All good. Okay, now. Yeah, I will take that. I don't, I don't want the auger right now, though. There. Now, where did my tank go? I'll say I had one. Take that just in case. Oh, good, I'm glad. I'm uh, glad you made it here, too. It really is, though. Just watching this the splatter of uh, blood and like their appendages and everything it's it's yeah I do enjoy that yo hello Hey, it's all good, man. Um, you know the uh, the streams they uh, they stay up on Twitch there for a while, and um, uh, and then you can always you know check up. I gotta have to drop that because it won't let me do the thing. Um, but or, or you, on the uh, you know the YouTube there, all the stuff gets archived. If you wanted to go back and check out the other stuff or whatever, you know you can always catch up on it. it some way if you're if you're interested in that who's boss all right men let's split up surround this son of a bitch show him who's boss larry you and your boys take a seat tunnel mike take <laughs> well glad i picked that up Hello? Hello? <laughs> um, well, that was fantastic. Yeah, show him, Ralph. Show him who's boss. Run him over. Flatten him, Ralph. Well, yeah, so that was, uh, that was mildly entertaining. And, uh, now I'm guessing that, yeah, my thing is gone now, so that's wonderful. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Well, that uh, does not seem to be doing anything. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Kick his ass. Kick his ass! Alright, yeah, that's, uh, that's not working, so, uh... I wonder... Yo! Uh, nope. <laughs> that's, uh, also not how you do it. So, that's neat. Alright, so, we need a new game plan. I wonder, am I supposed to, like, once it's trying to get me, if I'm supposed to take back off in the other tunnel, or what? Kung Fu his ass is like, yeah. Yeah. See, because it's busy there. Oh, yeah, escape into smaller tunnels. And I'm stuck. train car. Uh, that's neat. <laughs> Diving in. Ooh! In the face! Yes, indeed we do. We talk in movie quotes all the time. It's just how our brains work. No ammo. That's cool. Alright, so that's that. Uh... Hey, what up? Is there a tank? A tank in here somewhere? Because it's blinded? Oh, right here. behind um i've had that happen on mine before too hold on all right we're getting the hell out of here to get you straight through to new york do us one more favor will you of course pray for us all right we out of here Get Malakoff. Still want to just toss that guy off the side of the train. 
I have made many poor choices in my life. What you think? Coven, Daedalus, Hale. I'm responsible for some horrific things. Mm-hmm. You and me both. There is very little chance we will succeed in New York City. Four years ago, Serper tried to attack the tower. We lost over 1,000 men. I'm afraid you may never see your family again. I know. But we're doing our best, right? Yes. Yes, and we may still have a chance. I have been thinking. The Chimera are perfect killing machines. But they have no thought beyond what the hive mind tells them. We can defeat them, but we must be creative. They're unpredictable. We must use their power against them. The hell? Okay. Stay here. Oh great, yeah, no, let's let's fight people now, because we uh you know didn't have enough problems as it is. Favorite weapons Listen coming up, up soon. We're taking this train and everything on it. You stop it. Oh, I got a carbine? After all this time, I finally get a carbine, huh? So, for second, fires grenades. Okay. Now, sure. And nobody gets hurt. We will not stop. You have no right. You want to do it the hard way? Okay, by me. Light him up, boys. They are following us. Sure. Your animals, Joseph, murder us. They usually are, too. Fire ammo, yeah, buddy. We are fortunate to have survived. We'll find an ammunition supply in the rear of the train. Violence, selfishness. As individuals, it is our strength. But as a species, it is our greatest weakness. They have followed us. They are on the left side of the train. Yeah, we hit the driver. That seems to be the quickest and fastest way to get rid of these guys.
Look at me doing this, trying to peek around the things myself. <laughs> there you are. Well, they got parked. There is more ammunition at the back of the train. I think I got it all, guy. Oh, no. Right here. Oh, yeah. All the ammo. Hell, yeah, I'll take that. Marksman? Yeah, did you just follow the damn train? I do? I have to do that? Okay. Say, I'm working on it, thanks. They are jumping from the cliffs above us. Oh, they are, are they? I'm on board. I see you. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> Still wrong train. Still don't want to die here. that one too oh say where's the thing there it is oh, of course it's the one with all the extra ammo of course it is oh hey guys Let's kind of hope, huh? Running out of ammo for my marksman, which that, that sucks. Joseph, look! To the left of the train! A stampede of Widowmakers! They are traveling in packs! This is unprecedented! Oh, uh, well that sucks, guy! Dealing with one of them was enough! Now there's a whole train, a whole pack of them? Uh, we don't want anything to do with that. I don't know if you realize this or not.
15 rounds left for that too, huh? Ooh, got him! A lot of ammo for that. That sucks. Oh, damn. Um, excuse me? What? What? <laughs> excuse me? What? I don't even know what to do with that. was all fun trophy land sea and air okay a little bit derailed oh hey man Joseph Are you okay yeah Malakoff but I'm stuck behind you I ain't gonna lie, there's a part of me that's jealous. I would have loved to have done that to Malakoff. Stop! Stop! The hell's your problem, Wait. guy? Wait! I'll give you whatever you want. No! Don't do it! God damn it, you son of a bitch! I'm warning you! I'll kill you! No, don't! Don't! Oh, God, you, you fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> you ready to have some fun, boy? Well, this, uh, this took a turn. This took a drastic turn. Chapter 14, To the Lions. Don't give up. You can't survive. You the just have to... Yes, Mick. Time for the main event. We getting some like arena fighting going on here? We're gonna fight in the arena. <laughs> Welcome to the pan, boy. Oof. Oh boy. Ugh. Yeah, come here. Get you some. In the arena!
Oh, hell. I'm on fire! Come here. Daryl, you and your boys get in there. Bring this son of a bitch down. Yeah, come get some. Are you not entertained? Although, I am starting to lose, however. Say, so where the hell did he go? There we go. Oh, there's some health. Neat. Yeah, here we go. Here we go! Hmm. Uh, damn. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a whole, a whole thing I was not expecting to see in this game. Well, we're in Grat Gratiford, uh, the Encore. Okay, well, hold Joseph. on. That's your name, isn't it? I found this book among Dr. Malikov's things. He was a brilliant man. My name is Herbert Sawicki. Is that Colonel Campbell? Mikey for over three years. I'm tired of being a victim. No more. I have a plan to escape. But we need to move quickly. You see that drone up there? There are four of them around the prison. You need to disable them. Here. I made something that should keep you safe. You can pull the trigger to fire quickly. Or hold it down to build up pressure for a more powerful shot. Take the radio too. I'll get the door. That totally sur sounded like Colonel Campbell. Didn't sound like it to you? The mutilator, or the mutator, excuse me. I thought it said the mutilator. I got excited there for a second. A biological projectile weapon that infects enemies with a modified strain of the Chimera virus. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's the kind of weapon we need. Uh, overexposure causes a painful and violent death. Uh, press and hold R1 to charge up the weapon. Fire infectious biological projectiles. When an enemy is overexposed, it grows a large explosive. P uh, uh, can be detonated with another weapon or will explode on its own several seconds. Release a large toxic cloud of infectious fluid. Enemies inside the cloud become incapacitated until the cloud disappears. Wow. Okay. Same. And then the secondary is that. F okay. Oh, that's the cloud. That's the secondary. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you want to have that hammer, Jimbo? No, the bigger one, the sledge. Yeah. I should have warned you. That weapon tends to have some rather unpredictable results. Your favorite one? Well... I don't I don't know how I'm gonna care for it up to this point. Oh, that is Campbell. Nice. Oh, 
how did I get out of my cell? Uh, cause I'm that good. Oh, he done exploded. Can I let these guys out? It doesn't look like I can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I did that very thing. Alright, so, uh, let me look here. Alright, I got all three of those in Mount Pleasant, so that's good. Oh, geez, there's, what, seven of them in here. Audio ones, Mount Pleasant, got both of those. Malakoff's journal, I missed two of them. That, that's unfortunate. Well, alright. I gotta, gotta be on the lookout here. Hey, bud. Okay. I was just looking for some other things. Don't mind me. Wrong way, Joseph. You need to find another way around. All right, fine. With an aerosol can hooked up to the mutator, you can disperse a cloud into a group. Oh? Well, hold on. Do I? I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss things. Up your arsenal. Hey, we ain't playing Ratchet and Clank. Come on now. Nothing in here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, um, yeah, that worked on all of them, so that was neat. But still taking something that's Chimera and, and weaponizing it, and I'm telling you, that doesn't seem like a good idea. And unfortunately, Malakoff's dead. I kind of wish I would have been able to do that myself. I was kind of hoping for that, but... But nope, now I don't get to be the one to do it myself. There's the first drone down that hallway. Down that hallway? Joseph, the drone. Disable it. Shut up for a second. Oh, it won't let me... Oh, I was going to say, it ain't going to let me through here? What's up with that? Ah, see, here we go. Um, John led us here. I hate you, John. You were always wrong about everything. Yeah. Fuck you, John. All right, letter to mom number one. Dear mom, something has happened here. All the guards left. The guy in the cell next to me says the Chimera invaded America. Is it true? I got to get out of here. I will keep writing and mail these letters when I can. Love, Dick. 
I'm guessing he was probably a dick. <laughs> That's the Eagles' bad idea, but you know, some dingbat would. Do um, yeah, yeah. And Malakoff was horrible for that. That's why I wanted to be the one to uh, put an end to him. Because uh, he was the one responsible for Daedalus. He was the one responsible Evelyn, for the Sentinels. Evelyn, please answer me. Evelyn! He was responsible for all types of stuff. I wanted to be the one to take him out. But, nope. And now, I don't know how we're supposed to take... Evelyn, please tell me she's okay. I don't know how we're supposed to take care of that tower now, because apparently he was the one that was supposed to, uh, you know, handle that. Alright, so I'm guessing that's the way I gotta go. So... How unfortunate. Ah, <laughs> oh, sucks to be you. Doesn't that just suck to suck? Well, this was my cell, so... I already scoped this whole area out. Oh, we were almost compromised. I should be more careful. I can open up the security doors from these stations. Follow me. I'm opening up the showers wing for you. So yeah, that I feel like that's definitely him. This used to be the central control hub for the whole prison. Now they use it for entertainment of a sort. Entertainment of a sort. Motor pool. They periodically go out on missions for supplies. I'm guessing that's how you got picked up. Most of them are in the cafeteria right now. We'll go there later on, when it's empty. Well, hold on. I don't really want to miss things if I can help it. Well, there's nothing there. Can't open the doors. So since I can't open those doors... Anything left down here that I can grab? I kind of doubt it, but... The pit. It's infested with grims and leapers. You don't want to go down there. Trust me. Well, I'm already here. Because I'm trying to... See if there's anything here for me to get. While I can. I kind of doubt it, but... Hmm. All right, fine. Whatever. No, nothing there, nothing, no. Okay. They call themselves wardens. They used to be prisoners here, but now they live on the other side of the bars. There's no explanation for their behavior. They're just drunk with power or fear. Let's see here. Ammo, sure. All right, what do you got, Campbell? The drone should be up on a catwalk at the far end of the room, but you'll have to go through the showers to get there. My apologies. Once yeah. you disable the rest of the drones, we should expect the Chimera to arrive quickly. Wonderful. Good luck, Joseph. Yeah, thanks. Why 
Somebody's walking, but I can't tell from where. I heard footsteps. I hear people. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoyed that so much just then. Just look right at him, just blast him in the face with it. I should not have got that amount of enjoyment out of that, but I did. Ah, letter to mom too. Alrighty. Uh, dear mom, I am out. I took apart my bed frame and made a couple of tools. It took a long time. My fingers are ripped up, but I did it. And you said thieving was a sin. You should thank God I know how to pick a lock. Now I gotta decide if I should let the rest of them out. Some of them are real bad guys. But if they are... Tr but if what they are saying is true, I am better off with some friends to fight with. I hope you're doing okay. Hope to see you soon. Love, Dick. Alright, anybody else? That's my jam, you hear that? Ooh. Hey, bud. See your punk ass. Ooh, shrapnel grenades. Oh yeah, we loading back up now. We uh we about to be dangerous. Yeah, there were some more guys here with shotguns, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about to get serious. It's about to get serious. Already went through here, right? Yeah. All right. So how do I get? There's a ladder. Duh. There's a ladder. Duh. Some more ammo. Gotta have that. Ammo. Gotta have that. Health pack, okay. Hey. 
Hey, look at it. Look at these guys. Mm. Yes, I will. Good. The next drone is in cell block B. There should be a hallway to your left through the library. <laughs> what do you think you were going to do? Cell block B is home for the wardens. <laughs> try to stay hidden. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to stay hidden, yeah. Hello? Well, that's, uh, that's great. Uh oh, what was that? I got it, Joe. It's a blown fuse in the main breaker. I can fix it from here. Hold on. Opening doors for cell block B. Ah, door's not working. Maybe it's off the grid. Try forcing it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna force it open, yeah. When it's normally uh, electronically locked. That door isn't responding. Could be rusted. There's the drone ahead. There's a security gate in the way. You'll have to go down to the first floor through the utility room. Hell of a fight tonight. Uh, yeah, hell of a fight. <laughs> Well, so much for the stealth. It worked for a second. Can I help you? Sit down, punk.
What'd you just call me? You ready to die? that way. And nowhere to go that way. Tough. Okay. Some ammo, that's always nice. Tune man. Wow. <clears throat> Nothing in any of those cells, huh? And I guess I can't get back out through that one. So that's that's neat. A lot of resistance has kicking. Absolutely. Cubs. Listen up. We got a prisoner on the loose. Find him and take him down. <laughs> we got a prisoner on the loose. Oh, you do? Name's Joe. Letter to Mom 3. Uh, I let out some of the other prisoners, but when they let out... But then they let out the rest of them. There's this one guy, Mick Cutler. He is a leader of a big gang. I told Mick we need to figure out a plan of getting out of the prison, but he told me we will be safer inside the prison. Maybe he's right. I went outside once last week to a town across the river, and it was bad. I hope things are okay wherever you are. Mm, they're not. Bullseyes are... Okay, yeah, sure. You can say that, but that bullseye comes in pretty damn handy. What do you do, torch himself with his own Molotov? That's funny. <laughs> Damn. Alright, yeah. Got me with that one. Ah, got him in the face. 
I'm on fire! Ain't playing games, man. They gotta go. Health pack would be nice, though. Ammo. More of these. Like, again, that's nice and all, but they uh, they kind of got me there a little bit. So health, health would be lovely. See if I can find something before messing with that drone. Because something tells me as soon as I mess with the drone, something else is going to happen and it's going to get serious. No more letters to mom either? No? Ooh, I got a dead eye! Hell yeah! Now there's health pack. There we go. That's helpful. Uh, nothing? Shrapnel grenade, another Molotov. That's where I came from, I believe. Yeah, so... Full on that ammo. I don't know if I already came in here or not. I don't think so. Shrapnel grenades are full. This wasn't really anything in there anyway. Um, okay, well, I would have liked to have filled my health all the way up, but I guess that's as good as it's going to get. So... Say goodbye to your drone. Good. Three down, one to go. Last one's in the cafeteria. Get back to the arena. Let's hope they're done eating. Joe Capelli. That's right. We know who you are. Looks like we underestimated you. Not anymore. We got plans for you, my friend. Watch yourself, Joe. Mix up to something. He's smarter than he looks. The only smart one around here, I think. Well, uh, do I get to bash him in the face with a hammer? That would, uh, that about make this all worth it. Letter to Mom 4. Well, at least I haven't missed any of these. Alright, uh, Mick cornered me today. He told me he had, I, I, <laughs> excuse me, he told me I had to join his gang if I wanted to keep getting food and water, a power play. I reminded him that without me, he would be rotting in his cell. He reminded me that without him and his pal Herbert, uh, prison would be swarming with Chimera. I wanted to tell him Herbert is not his pal, but that would have been a bad idea. Anyway... There was nothing I could do. We are running out of food. I hope you have food where you are, and I hope you still have crosswords to keep you busy. We got some medicine here. I don't know. Maybe Dick wasn't all that big of a dick after all. He was just trying to survive by the sound of things. 
more dead eye ammo. That's nice to know. A lot of ammo. Oh boy. <laughs> Look up expecting to see a roof. Oh jeez. Uh snipers? Anyone? Wardens. Counter sniper. Get to the cafeteria, Joseph. We are close to freedom. You sure about that? Say, who the hell is still shooting at me? Oh, here we go. Joseph, over here. Over where? Oh, right there. Hold on. There are any more things? I would like to have some health. I, uh... I would not be against some health right about now. But, I guess, uh... I guess we just proceed. about those drones. The one we want is in the cafeteria. Maybe this one. Maybe? So you're not sure. <laughs> Get rid of the rest of the kitchen crew. I'm going to use the maintenance tunnel to go around. I'll meet you in the kitchen. Sure. Good eats. Oh, there's a uh, there's a bunch of them. Let's see if I can. Hey, what's up? If I don't trust, yeah, uh, I find that very hard.
I see you. Ah! Oh. oh, you lucky. Um, well, I, I'm in a former prison uh, that was taken over uh, by the inmates after the Chimera invasion started. I'm guessing that's what happened. Tater uh, Puppet Master. Weaponsmith? Cool. Hey, look at him, just hanging out there. Hey, bud. <laughs> You're behind the wall. I guess I got everybody. If uh, Herbert's wanting to talk to me again, so. Um, but yeah, it, from what I understand... After the Chimera invasion, all the inmates took over, and they've been... I guess, no, like... Shut up, Herbert. I'm not... I'm not done. Um, like, almost like raiders, fallout raiders kind of thing, from what I can tell. Just kind of, you know, taking what they want when they want, and... Ooh, I've got a marksman again. Absolutely love it. Marksman's fantastic. Joseph! Shut up, Herbert. Wait a minute. There's something wrong with this drone. You looking for this? Herbert, you piece of shit. We've been good to you. We kept you safe all these years. You think you can survive outside these walls? Huh? You wouldn't last a week. Yeah, it was a it was a uh, change that I didn't oh, see no. happening. You're trapped. This door is locked. If you give me a couple of minutes, I think I can rewire it. But you won't like where it leads to. I already don't like any of this. Yeah, I was not expecting this to go this route, so. Oh, jeez. Well. If you're running low, Nick needs extra ammunition in the kitchen. Hey, guy. Rush him, boys. Give me just a minute more. Actually, give me that marksman back. Damn it.
Ain't that tough? Whipping your ass. Actually, um, three rounds left for this, and that's it. Crap. Six it. Oh, hold on. Shit. Goodness, that's a lot of bodies. Now's your chance to escape. Back here. I've got to find a way to get the rest of the prisoners free. Oh, we got to go back through the pit, huh? Dumbass went into the pit. We going to go after him? Nah. He goes into the pit, he ain't never coming out. I hear people. Where is their people? Woo! Yeah, 6 a.m. Yeah, that's, that's very early. But I'm glad you stopped by. I appreciate that. Not going anywhere around here, so Chapter 16, Retribution. And I find that interesting that one of the Resistance games is called Retribution. Alright, where the hell am I at now? Oh, we got the sledge back. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, let's start dropping people. Let's start dropping bodies. Alright, so there's a checkpoint. Sledge <laughs> Sledgemaster 2000. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, sledge, the sledgehammer was actually pretty wicked. Again, I was not expecting this to... Oh, no. That sucks. No. We do not want to deal with that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where the hell am I going? I guess the only way I can go, and that's this way. So you think he's dead? He jumped into the pit, man. If he ain't dead yet, <laughs> he will be soon. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I bet if we find Herbert before anybody else, Nick will give us something nice. Yeah, let's check the motor pool. I don't like all the boots floating around. That, that feels like I'm going to be like fish food or something. Yeah, actually, uh, this the way that uh, this section of the game started is uh, I was riding on a train 
and it got derailed, and these guys showed up and brought me back to this prison. And yeah, I had nothing but a sledgehammer. Had to fight a whole bunch of them like it was like a Coliseum arena type thing. Oh, well, uh, this is not good. Yeah, not a fan of this. <laughs> nice to see it. Bumblebee Tona. Doesn't look like there's any journals or anything down there, so I'm not going to go down there unless I have to. And it doesn't look like I have to, so I'm not going to. Yeah, no. If there is a journal down there, it ain't worth it. Alright, now where the hell am I going? Well, it looks like I got a couple different options here. Actually, that might be a dead end, though. Well, maybe not. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> no, uh... Wait, what? I hear them. But I don't see them. And I don't like that. He's a bumblebee tuna? What? Yeah. You know. You know what that's from, don't you? Alright, where the hell are they at? Get the f*** out of here. No! Sit your ass down. Hey, Tech It! How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. We're just uh, going ham with this sledgehammer uh, in the sewers of a prison or something. <laughs> oh, hell no, dude! I like how that made no sound. Back the fuck up. No. Sit your ass down. Every <laughs> becoming brittle. Hey, man. It's alright. You don't see a movie for quite a long time, but... Ace Ventura. Still a classic. Yeah, sit down, chump. I think this has a little more range on it than I thought it did. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Damn it. Now oh, there goes like half of my health. That sucks. Okay, I feel like I'm going in circles here. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's some ammo. Like that. 
appreciate you, Callsy. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Jim Carrey is a national treasure. Man, Jim Carrey and a bunch of the old Adam Sandler movies? That's straight up my childhood. See, I couldn't back up any further. I got cornered, man. That was cheap. Can we be done with these? I would really like to be done with these. What is that? A jack in the box? <laughs> uh any specific reason for the jack in the box? I'm not not quite understanding. One-eyed jack. Is do I really get a trophy for beating the shit? Out of the <laughs> jack in the box at a thing? Wow. Okay. Well, that's neat. <laughs> Maybe I should start hitting stuff with a hammer more often. <laughs> Dude, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, the water boy. Hello, what the f are you? I can't believe I, I I swear that's what the trophy was for, but I can't believe I got a trophy for that. Did you see the drones in cell block A? Yup. Death squads are coming our way, I bet. Shit. Should we run? Run? Where to? I don't know. Damn right you don't know. This here's our home. We defend it to the death, right? Oh, uh, sure, sure. Yeah, whatever you say, guy. Wow. I was gonna say, oh, but the rat's invincible. No, it ain't. <laughs> Just got obliterated. Oh, some more cryo gun. Letter from Mom 6. Did I miss one? I don't remember getting a 5. Yep, I missed one. I don't know how I missed one. <sighs> Alright. Well, that stinks, because I feel like there was a little story being told here. And I look, I looked in every little nook and cranny for these things, too. All right, uh, dear mom, Mick has to be stopped. I know it is bad out there, but I think I might just be as bad in here. It might be just as bad in here. This is no way for human beings to live. He is an animal, and he's turning the rest of us into animals. I think I'm going to try and kill him. It is going to be hard. Other guys have tried to kill him and, and take over, but they were found out and butchered. Uh, that ain't gonna happen to me. I'm smarter than the average bear. I'll be real patient, wait for the right moment, wish me luck. Love, Dick. Well, that sucks that I, I missed one of those. Because there's a little piece of that uh, story now that we're missing. Okay, big open room. What's the catch? And I can't get back up, so... Thank you. 
Damn. Um. Um. Yep, you're gonna die. Damn it. Mutator secondary. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Wonder how the mutator would work on Chimera and not... Say, I'm not seeing any more, so what is the deal? What am I not seeing? What is, uh... I guess if I just go to the door, I guess I'm fine. Woo! Alright. Can you hear them? I am honored to have Dr. Malakoff's journal, and a bit intimidated. It will take time to wrap my head around all of this data. However, one event early in his notes seems significant. He writes that he interviewed Joseph Capelli after he killed Nathan Hale. Joseph said Hale uttered a mysterious phrase when the wormhole first appeared in the sky. Hale said, Can you hear them? It's beautiful. Who is them? And what does it have to do with the wormhole? Hmm. I must research further. There is much to learn. All right, so now this guy is, what, wanting to take up where Malakoff left off since he's dead now? And what sucks is that Malakoff is dead and so we may need somebody to go with us to New York to deal with the the tower that Malakoff was supposed to be shutting down oh that was neat um this Delta I'm expecting I'm playing it um Suave probably will um, if it comes out for PC, that's probably how he's going to end up playing Delta. I, on the other hand, um, my PC is okay to be able to do things like this. I don't know if I'd be able to play that game on it when it first comes out, and I don't have a PS5. So, I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity to play Delta the minute it comes out, and I wish I could. Um... But when it comes to the Metal Gear series, um, I have an idea for that that I'll talk about probably in the next couple months. I'm still putting some things together. But I got an idea for a bunch of that. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, um, probably not going to be able to play Delta right away. Not me, anyway. Yeah, see, I know Suave's going to want to do it, and... I would love to do it, I just don't. Drop chip in the motor pool. Get some rockets out there and bring it down. Our plan is working. 
Find a way back inside the prison. Yeah, because I want to get back in where I was trying to leave. I can't believe it's like I'm helping the Chimera. And uh, that goes against everything that we've done up to this point. All right, how do I want to go about doing this? Yeah, the amount of stuff that people were saying about that remake and hadn't even come out yet, kind of ridiculous. Oh, and I got a wildfire! I'm just trying to find a way back in, but I don't know exactly where I'm going. Whoops. Marksman ammo, I like that. Oh yeah, now I gotta go against the people and the Chimera at once! Who thought this was a good idea? Yeah, this was brilliant. Letter to Mom 7. We need to be still reading letters to Mom. We're in the middle of a damn battlefield here. Is the Chimera, is it like an alien race? Yeah, basically. Um, at this point, five games in, we've learned that the Chimera apparently were here, well, were on Earth millions of years ago. They built all types of different structures underground. And then, at one point, they just took off and abandoned the planet. Well, then, 
because this takes place in uh, between like the events of this, between like 1908 when a, a asteroid came down and it had the Chimera virus on it, started mutating people, and then in 1951, so not even 50 years later, they started mutating people and they started taking back over. Now this is about four, no, about seven years after the events of the start of the war and only 10% of the human population is left. It's all been basically converted over to Chimera at this point. Okay, dear Ma, I think Mick is on to me. Some of his guys have been watching me real close lately. My only hope is now, uh, now is escape. Once it gets dark, I'm going to run. All this time, I have been afraid to leave the prison and now I'm afraid to stay. I hope I get to see you soon. If not, I hope to see you in heaven. Love, Dick. Okay. Say, I have a marker now. Wildfire ammo full. Nothing up there. I see you. The Chimera have breached the prison. The last drone is in the central arena. There's a shortcut. Get the service elevator from the loading docks ahead. Hurry, before this place is overrun. Aren't we uh, kind of getting to that point already? Oh, and I got my bullseye back. Got the bullseye back. Damn! Damn! Bullseye ammo. Oh, oh, somebody found me the sniper. Okay, that's cool. Wow. Okay, um, I, yeah, I guess it sounds pretty similar to that. Alright, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going here now. Okay, I could get up here, but for what? Doesn't look like for any reason, so... Well, there's a health pack up there, I guess, if I need it later. Oh boy, um, <laughs> what can I do? Woo! No secondary weapon, okay, sure. Um, let's do this. Nope, not that. Hit them with that. Excellent. Find the elevator. The drone is just a short ride away. Sure. Ooh. Much time. Get to the elevator. Yeah.
start blasting. That is not the correct weapon. Why is it not doing the one I want? Just walk in, guns a-blazing. That was probably pretty stupid. <laughs> Sometimes you do, for sure. Getting a PS5 eventually. I would like to. I just, I can't justify the purchase for that right now. And to be quite honest, I've, personally, myself, i felt like the, the gaming library that the PS5 has gotten since its launch has not been all that impressive. Um, partially because a lot of the games that have come out, I can still also get on the PS4, and I'm sure visually, you know, the PS5 might make some stuff look a bit better than the 4 does, but since I already have the 4, and if the games are still coming out for that, there's no sense in me going out and getting a PS5, maybe for what, a little bit better in the graphics? I can still play the 4, it's fine. Now, that games are starting to be exclusively for the 5 and they're not doing the PS4 versions, I gotta start thinking about that a little bit more. There's already a couple games I would have liked to have played, like that um, RoboCop, um, was it Rogue City, something like that, um, that I would have liked to have played that you, I can't get on the 4. There's a Jurassic Park game called Survive, or Survivor, Survival, something like that, that if that ever comes out, I don't think that would come to the 4, so I would need a 5 for that. Um, so we're getting to a point where you would need a five for some of the other stuff, but it hasn't been like that up to this point. So I never necessarily needed one. Things are getting crazy up here, Joe. Chimera everywhere. I'm gonna get the rest of the prisoners out. Meet you back here. Sure. All right, I got a little bit more time here yet, so. Are we back to the pit? Oh boy. Oh! You're the one that killed Nathan Hale, aren't you? They said you got kicked out of Serpa. Me too. Mick, you were in Serpa, huh? There ain't many of us left. Men like us. We're born to fight. Off. Uh, that's not good. Grab the glass. Grab the bottle. Oh, yeah. You're gonna pay for that. I am. Oh, hell. Oof. Uh oh, what now? What now, Mick? Oh! Excuse me? Oh! <laughs> Epic! I managed to free some of the others, but we gotta move. Dude, yeah, he got... <laughs> that was, uh... That was an explosive experience. Ooh! Come on. Come on. 
Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, they ain't screwing around. I... I didn't think I'd ever get out of there alive. If there's ever anything I can do to repay you. Take care of each other. That was epic. I forgot that it was a magnum. In the magnum, you shoot the rounds first, and then you hit the other button, and those rounds explode. That was dope. New York City. We finally make it? Oh, yeah, and see, with that wormhole in that tower, they are freezing over the planet, and New York is, uh... New York's pretty screwed. Yes, it is. Very day after tomorrow. Look. So what'd you do, Capelli? Walk all the way from that part of Pennsylvania all the way to New York? Joe Capelli. This message is from my wife, Susan. I miss you. I made it. I'm in New York, close to the tower. I think. If I can make it there alive, I'll try and destroy it. But... Malikov is dead. If he were here, I might have a chance. you said I tried my best I love you tell Jack I loved him Sounds like he's not expecting to make it out of this whole thing alive, is what it sounds like to me. Yeah, I don't know if he's Italian or not, but, uh... Chapter 17. Commitment. And... That means I have four chapters to go, and I'm actually getting to... Well, the, uh, the end of uh, how I normally, or the time I normally do, 
in these streams, which is about two and a half hours. Um, I don't know how much further I can get in like the next 10 minutes or so. And this is the last location uh, in the game. So we're in the last location and there's only four chapters to go according to my uh, chapter list here. So um, I think I am not going to continue any further at this point. I think this is going to be a good place to stop. We're in the last leg of the game, theoretically, and one more good push come uh, Tuesday night. Oh, and I got all my weapons back. I'm still missing two of them. One here and one over here. But, um... Tuesday night, one more good push and we should be able to finish up this game and that would be the conclusion of the entire series. So... Continuing on for just another couple minutes doesn't really make sense to me. I'm happy I got this far. Um, and I'm happy that I made the progress that I did tonight. I didn't make as much progress Tuesday night as I thought I was going to. Um, made up for it a little bit here in this stream. But real quick, I want to look and see... Yep, I missed uh, one letter to mom. There's only one thing here in New York I gotta find. So I missed that. That's unfortunate. What about audio ones? Um, nope, I got both. Uh, no, there wasn't any audio ones in that one. There's four audio ones in New York. Malakoff's journals. Uh, can you? I got the one, and there's one more here in New York. But I missed two of them in Mount Pleasant, so that's uh, that's unfortunate. Um, this game is the last. Is it PS3? Yeah, yep. On the PS3, and um, this was the this. Okay, this is the last game in the story. Now, this was the second to the last game that was released. But the last game that was released was released on the PS Vita. That was Burning Skies. But that one takes place, uh, I think it was second overall in the timeline. So I've already been through that one. Because um, I did them in chronological story order. Um, so yeah, the, the story ends here. And after they released this one, Insomniac just never did any more of them. Uh, it was a different studio, too. Nihilistic Games that did Burning Skies. I think Insomniac may have um, like overseen the release and the development of Burning Skies, but they didn't create it. They weren't the developers for it. So, um, the, last, the last release in the series, they didn't even do. Somebody else did. And then, it just, after that, this series just kind of got tossed to the wayside and I uh, see Burning Skies came out in 2012 so it's been over a decade since we've had a new resistance and Insomniac themselves I've read some interviews they've already said they don't ever plan on any uh, doing any more resistance games ever like resistance is done period so make a shooter yeah, I don't know how many other shooters Insomniac had ever done. I'm not in extremely familiar with their their library. But they... Um, what the hell else was there? There was something that they were known for before the PS3 days. And I can't remember right offhand what it was now. Um... But there was something that they were doing, some other series, and then when the PS3 was getting ready to launch, um, they wanted to try something that was completely different and a bit darker. So they developed um, Resistance Fall of Man, which is the first one in the series, and was a launch title for the PS3 back then. Um, 
Spyro. That's that that sounds right. Maybe it was Spyro that Insomniac was known for back then. And yeah, then they just they completely did like a complete 180 and did Resistance Fall of Man and followed it up with a second and third game and then um Nihilistic did Burning Skies and Ben Studios actually was the ones that did um, Retribution which they would later be known for um, Days Gone they did the uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss and they did uh, what the hell else did Ben do I think they actually did a bunch of was it Killzone that they were involved in or no it was Siphon Filter I think Bend, or the precursor to Bend. Maybe it was a different studio that became Bend after that. Ratchet and Clank. That's the other one. That I I wanted to say Ratchet and Clank, but that didn't that didn't sound right. Which is funny because um, I got a trophy earlier in this stream. You guys may have seen it. The trophy was called Up Your Arsenal. Up Your Arsenal was a Ratchet and Clank game. So that's that's kind of neat. That, um, <laughs> that, that, that's how that went. Um, I, uh, I guess I ran out of things to say. <laughs> um, and I guess I could probably just, uh, end it here. Um, so it didn't sound right either. Definitely one of my favorite three platforms here. Never played Ratchet and Clank. None of them. I'm not sure why. Um, I think when when we were younger, when <clears throat> Ratchet and Clank originally came out, um, Killzone. Um, I forgot how many of those that were done. Five or six of them, maybe, but. I don't think... I think that series, um, they actually had a legit ending for that one, too. I don't know. I've only ever killed... Uh, I'm, <laughs> I've only ever killed... I've ever only ever played one kill zone, and that's it. I've never played um, anything from the series except for the Vita game, which was um, Kill Zone Mercenary, which was good. Like, I didn't mind it. It just... I never got into Kill Zone either. Uh, first person shooters like this I may have said it um, playing Fall of Man I feel to me personally first person shooters too many of them feel the same to me like there's a little bit of story that's changed and you know some enemies may have been changed but a first person shooter to me personally feels like the story is secondary a first-person shooter is all just about how much stuff can you shoot and how much stuff can you blow up, you know? It's about blowing up shit and killing things. And I prefer a little bit more story um, in my games if I can find games like that. So, a lot of the first-person shooters I've just kind of ignored. I've just never really was interested in too many of them because they just all look alike to me. I can't if you were to show me a couple different first-person shooters that I've never played before and know nothing about, I probably wouldn't even be able to differentiate one from the other half the time. After playing Killzone Mercenary on the Vita, I could say if I ever, like, after I'm done with this series here, because after this, I want to get away from a first-person shooter for a minute, because after five games, and I do plan on doing something else, um, there's one that I actually have to revisit and replay again after I'm done with this one, for reasons I'll talk about a little bit later in a different stream when I get closer to it. But after playing Mercenary, I did enjoy that. When I first bought my Vita, I was looking for some decent games for it. And looking at different lists and different videos of, like, top ten games for the Vita, Killzone Mercenary kept coming up every single time. Um, 
Burning Skies was not. Re the Resistance first-person shooter just kind of was... It didn't get reviewed well. The fans didn't care for it much. But Killzone Mercenary got a lot of praise and was considered the best shooter on the Vita. From what I understand. I haven't played very many of them on the Vita. I don't know how many there are. But after playing Killzone Mercenary, I thought, you know... If I ever want to go back and get into another first-person shooter series, maybe maybe it wouldn't be terrible to get into Killzone. Um, maybe I should give some of that a shot. Still not sure. I'd call Half-Life series a shooter because Half-Life 2 is definitely one of my favorite ones. Um, <clears throat> our dad had, I think, the first Half-Life. He had a Half-Life, but we were very young at the time. And I don't recall him ever letting us play it. <laughs> um, we we got to play almost anything that we wanted when we were younger, but there were a couple of exceptions. I think Half Life was one of them. Mortal Kombat was another one. You know, all the blood and oh, a guy was beheaded and his spine was ripped out. You know, a little too violent uh, for our uh, fragile young minds uh, to uh, comprehend back then. Um, but for the most part, we kind of got to play almost whatever we wanted, I feel like. Um, starting with the Sega Genesis, you had a lot of stuff like Sonic and Kid Chameleon, uh, Streets of Rage. Uh, you know, there wasn't a whole lot that, with the exception of, like, I think, Mortal Kombat, the Genesis versions, because we had the Genesis at the house, were the versions of Mortal Kombat that he had. But, you know, like NBA jams, stuff like that. So there wasn't a whole lot then. By the time we were able to get the PlayStations, um, we... But, I mean, even at a young age, we more or less focused on stuff that piqued our interest, right? So for me, I played a shit ton of wrestling games. I played, I think, almost all of the wrestling games. Whether it was on the PS1, the N64... Whatever. Um, the, the wrestling games is where it was at for me. Growing up in that Attitude Era and that Ruthless Aggression Era, I just wanted to play a whole bunch of racing games. Um, GTA 3, speaking of GTAs, was another one for a good while um, we couldn't play. Eventually, I think they just they, they caved and was like, okay, yeah, fine, here, or whatever. And we, got to, we did get to play it at some point, but... When it first came out, I recall that uh, no, GTA 3 can't play that either. Um, kind of forced her. So my brother Suave there um, has mentioned in one of his streams probably somewhere in the past that... Um, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, there was so much controversy around it too. Uh, you know, when that first came out because of, you know, well, what it was. Yeah, so, yeah, I was just about to say, Suave there had said at one point uh, in one of his streams, I'm sure, that he got a demo. And, you know, the demo discs you used to be able to get back in the day. The Jam Pack discs, the PlayStation Underground discs, things of that nature. Had a demo of MGS1 on it. You know, and for a mature game, um, was probably a toss-up at best if our folks were going to be able to allow him to, to play that game. So I had a demo on one of these jam pack discs, and I remember at one point he said, Hey, Dad, I'd, I'd like to maybe buy this game. Here, check it out. You know, and could show him the couple minutes of the beginning of just the demo, which not a whole lot happens, right, in the very, like, beginning few minutes of the game. So he was kind of like, okay, yeah, it doesn't really seem all that bad, and he was able to end up uh, playing MGS1 at, like, eight years old. It, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, but it, several games were like that um, years ago. You got to remember, at one point, the the um, Supreme Court over here got involved with the violence in video games. Mortal Kombat was at the front and center of that entire thing. Um, there was another game, too. It was bad. It was a bad game, and not because of the the violence and the all this stuff but it just it was a terrible game and I'm, I'm not talking about Mortal Kombat mind you there was another game with Mortal Kombat that was drug into the conversation with the Supreme Court 
over its violence and its disturbing nature. It was a game called Night Trap, I think was the name of it. Um, it which is crazy to me because they actually, I think, just got a, a port for the Switch not too long ago for that game. And it sucks. It's it's horrible. It was like an old Sega CD game or something. And it was mostly like real grainy, like live. Yeah, I, I think it's called Night Trap. Don't get me wrong. I might have the name wrong, but I think it's called Night Trap. Um, but it's like regular like video footage, but it was on the Sega CD. It was grainy as hell, but there was something about um, um, people breaking into a house and, and can attack the homeowners and things like that or something to that effect. I don't know the whole thing about Night Trap, but I just remember... There's a documentary on Netflix. If you have Netflix or or if um, if you don't have Netflix and are still interested, there's a documentary on Netflix called High Score. And it's a maybe six-episode series. And it's about the history of gaming. And it goes into a lot of detail about different eras of gaming and what happened in those eras. It's fun as hell. There's a simulator for almost anything, and some of it is kind of disturbing. But High Score on Netflix will go through several different genres, well, several different eras of gaming, and talk about some of the big main topics. And and um, Mortal Kombat and Night Trap for the disturbing imagery and the violence. Yeah, it talks about how it was drug into Supreme Court, and I think that started setting into motion some stricter guidelines for the um, I forget what it's called but how the games get rated and things of that nature but it also talks about how we got like Miss Pac-Man back in the day because Pac-Man was in all the arcade e there you go ESRP or ESRB that's right at least over here it's different in, in other parts of the world I think there's different you know, different ones for different countries and different um, different regions, <clears throat> but that's the one that we got over here. Um, but um, Pac-Man was in all the arcades and everything, and but Pac-Man was notorious for having um, patterns, and people were figuring that out, and people were beating the games in the arcades too much, and so they weren't. They weren't taking as many quarters. They were starting to lose money on the Pac-Man arcade uh, cabinets. So a couple college kids eventually end up dropping out of college because they found a way to take the boards out, modify them, so where it was all randomized. They got sued by Atari over it, and they settled out of court, and part of the settlement was those kids went end up working for Atari. That mod, that was an early mod, like mods back then, like some of the first mods, I think, they end up modding those boards, sticking them in different arcade cabinets because it was randomized. That's what became Miss Pac-Man. Um, so just interesting stories about like that. So again, on Netflix, the series is called High Score, some really cool stuff. Uh, in that, if you're interested in that kind of thing, they had to listen to violent gory sounds to recreate the gory sounds for MK. Um, see, yeah, some of the sounds. Um, I mean, I suppose you know you look back at what gaming was then, right? You had your Mario's like, uh. The worst thing that he did was to like throw little fireballs at these um, plants that came out tried to eat you, or the the little mushroom goomba things. You would just stomp on them. You know, not a whole lot of violence there, at least not detailed violence. Uh, you know, Sonic. Sonic could uh, you know turn a little ball and hit things, and you know, eh, not a whole lot there. Uh, you know, Atari's, you know, the, the violence, it got ramped up and it just started to, you know, people started to take notice. And then, of course, all the parents wanted to blame, uh, well, you know, video games for other violence. And uh, it's, it's a whole thing. We can, we can go all night about this. Unfortunately, 
I don't have that kind of time right now. I see what time it is right now, and work still calls tomorrow. So I actually do have to get off here. But I appreciate um, everybody that stopped by tonight. I actually had um, a lot of people in the chat. I appreciate that. That was a lot of fun. Evolving Fetus, the conversation that we've had for the last little while, I appreciate. Uh, Tech It for stopping by. Um, Garagon for the follow since my last stream and chatting for a little while. Uh, was it Fatman4000 jumped in for a little while. I appreciate that. And, uh, of course, Suave Beardson, who is the real MVP, who is here every single stream from the moment I hit start stream and hangs out all night long. And, again, if you haven't done so already, then Suave pinned it a little bit uh, a little while ago. There is a link to the Grim Beardson Discord. It is a joint Discord for Suave and myself, so you can keep up on... Um, well, just whatever we feel like talking about throughout the week and in between streams, there's um, alerts when new content gets uploaded to our various YouTube channels. Um, yeah, see? Evolving Feet has said it. You ought to do it. Join the Discord, son! Um, but yeah, whenever anything new gets uploaded to the YouTube channels, you can check those things out. All of the live stream... Uh, get uploaded to our various channels for archive purposes and I also have some original series that I've done that stays strictly to YouTube you won't find it on Twitch you'll only find it on the other channel and then of course we update our stream schedules as often as we possibly can so you can stay tuned to that of what games that we plan on playing next and uh, yeah so on and so forth so Sunday is coming up Sunday night. Suave will be back with another part of his full-length playthrough of Death Stranding. And then come right back here next Tuesday night for what I believe should be the conclusion of not only Resistance 3, but the conclusion of the Resistance saga as a whole. And then uh, Suave will be back uh, next Wednesday, probably for some more Death Stranding. I know he's getting towards the end of that one, too, I think. I don't. I should say, I don't know he's getting towards the end, but it feels like the end game is coming, so you don't want to miss the ending if that's coming. Episodes. Um, we try. We, we try. I don't know if that's the, the correct word for you know what it is that we do but i don't know what else to call it and it just it sounds it sounds the most appropriate <laughs> so um that's just that's just what that's just what we roll with um you know you watch a series right uh, and a series is broken down into seasons and episodes so we do episodes of games works for us you know um, so yeah, next Tuesday night we should be able to finish this game up, which would means another one-off should be coming. And then um, even though we should be getting to the end of the Resistance Saga, I will be revisiting one of them um, for a specific reason, which I will talk about more at a later date. But again, I appreciate everybody coming by. I appreciate everybody chatting. This was probably one of my best streams if not the best stream for uh, interaction with people I thoroughly enjoyed that uh, and I hope that uh, we can continue that um, with that latest follow uh, from Garagon I believe I'm up to 42 or 43 or something now so inching ever closer to that uh, 50 follower mark and if I can keep the viewer count up I just might be able to get to affiliate, which is something that I never really imagined would happen. So we're we're getting there slowly but surely. So I'm at 44. So I, okay, Cause six to go, and uh, getting uh, if I can keep that viewer count up along with that, then uh, that would be neat. And uh, if that does happen, I may have to uh, figure out something kind of special to um, to do for a special stream for that. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, st Stay tuned for the Discord. If it ever happens, we may have to have a discussion. But um, until 
next time. I hope to see anybody that comes across this in Suave Beardson's chat Sunday night for some more Death Stranding, and I hope to see you all back here for the conclusion, what I believe should be the conclusion of Resistance 3 on the mighty PS3. And until then, I am D and the Grim Gamer. We will see you next time.